This is actually my 15th uh, season in the, uh, in the New Zealand team. From New Zealand we had a 10 hour flight to Singapore and then a 12 hour flight here to Milan. It takes us about 30 hours um, you know, from airport to airport. Uh, we've come from a long way. We were based in Victoria, BC, in Canada, so west coast. What is that, like 12? 12,000 kilometers maybe, something like this. It's got to be around 8,000 kilometers or something like that. We stay, um, you know, usually for a, a period of up to three months, so uh, that's what we're here for this year. Traveling abroad, of course, on an eight-hour plane ride is, is not easy on the body. The most important things that I make sure I have right away are my passport and my racing unisuit. Everything else you can kind of get by without. I always bring my pillow. You basically have your whole life in a bag. Um, and it has to weigh under, under uh, 23 kilos. I've got this pillow that I bought last year and it wraps right around so you pretty much just have to close your eyes and tilt your head and I just conk out for the whole flight. <laughs> I just have my video projector. I always bring it to me, with me, it's a tiny little, little device. I, I need that to just kind of cut with rowing, just do something else. I guess my computer is probably my uh, sort of biggest uh, thing. Um, because you know that that gives you entertainment. I try and keep it pretty light because I find the more you bring, the more likely you are to have a huge laundry pile growing in the corner of your hotel room. When I'm home, I can do my laundry whatever I want. Here, you're kind of doing your laundry in the bathtub. Probably my top tip is you know like unpack your bag, and it sounds like a stupid thing, but you know when you unpack your bag and, and you've got your clothes and drawers or you know nicely sorted out, it, it does it makes it feel a bit more at home. Yeah, I love Europe. I always love coming over here. Everything in Europe seems to be moving very quickly, just with the way people are driving around on the roads and moving through the streets. And of course there's Lucerne and you feel like you're on a Ricola ad. We miss out on the freezing cold of New Zealand, the, yeah, the coldest part of winter. There's a church, an old church on an island that you row by and a castle up on the top of a cliff. It's basically living in this fairy tale. Everywhere you look is like a postcard. I think when I'm going to go to France, I'm just going to enjoy cheese. I miss cheese in Canada. There's something about being in Italy that just makes you want to have espresso. And along with many of the women on the team, love European breakfast. It's just the, my close loved ones that I miss. <laughs> We've got a little baby, uh, he's uh, eight months old, so uh, you know, that, that makes it a little bit tough um, because you, you're missing uh, you know, watching her grow up. I can't bring my cat with me. <laughs> I would if I could. 